All right, well, one uh, man who's been keeping a close eye on the government's bailout plans, all of them, is Sir Peter Schiff. He's the president of Euro Pacific Capital. It's uh, a global investment strategy company and the author of the little book of bull moves in bear markets. Uh, ought to be a good read these days. He joins me now live. Let's talk about Citigroup, given that we've just uh, been hearing from Alan on that. Um, you know, they make the decision about bailing Citigroup out. They say it's too important to fail. They don't say that about Lehman. They're considering what they're doing with uh, the auto companies at the moment. They haven't made a decision about that. What do you think of these, uh, these decisions at this point? Well, the only good decision they made was letting Lehman Brothers fail. And somehow they think that's the source of our problems. What about all the companies that they did bail out? You know, we're in this mess for a reason. It's because of government spending, because of too much debt. And these bailouts simply, you know, we're accumulating more debt. And our, the government is broke. You've got Barack now talking about the $700 billion a stimulus plan, maybe a trillion dollars. We don't have any money. You know, we need the world to lend us this money. We need the Chinese, we need the Japanese to lend us money that we can't pay back. Because know what we're going to do with the money? We're going to spend it. And then when it's gone, we're going to be begging for more. Mm. Yeah, let's talk about this uh, stimulus package because it's uh, big and it's getting bigger by the day. Um, Barack Obama's put this uh, group of, uh, um, or his uh, economy group together, as it were, uh, and we're beginning to learn the names of those. Are they the right men and women for the job at this point? Now, look, if they think the economy needs more stimulus, that they don't, they shouldn't be in these jobs. You know, we should, we don't even need any economic advisors. We should abolish them all. I mean, look at this mess we're in. They're, they're giving bad advice. We don't need stimulus. We don't need Americans spending more money. That's how we got into this mess. We borrowed money and we spent it. Now we can't pay it back. Americans need to make things. They need to go to work and they need to save their money. We can't try to stimulate the economy through more spending. And we can't but just keep But you stimulate the economy uh, by more spending overnight, effectively, because you don't make anything anymore. That's the problem. That can't change, can it? Well, in it the can short change. Term. That's a long-term plan. Yes, but that, it has to change. And the government has to let it change. The government has to get out of the way and let our phony economy collapse. I know it's going to be painful, but it's necessary. We can't keep pretending we have a viable economy and expecting the rest of the world to finance it. You know, we, we have to actually make things. We need a real industrial revolution in this country. We don't need more economic stimulus. That's more of the problem. And we can't keep rewarding people. Look at this Citicorp bank uh, bailout. I mean, look how much money these executives at these companies make. How can we let these guys pay themselves millions of dollars when the companies are broke, they're not going to make any money over there for years. So the government's going to keep giving them more and more money so they can lavish it out on, uh, on the executives. And, you know, now we're probably going to have to bail out General Motors because we bailed out Citi. You know, General Motors right. needs to fail. But, you know, now we've got to support the overpaid union workers uh, in Detroit because we're supporting the overpaid right. so bankers you know, so in New you York. Let, you'd have let Citibank fail, would you, today? Of course. I'd have let, I'd have let AIG fail. I'd have let Bayer, I would, I, there'd be a lot of firms that would be failing if the government had stepped out of the way. But capitalism isn't about propping up failed companies. We need to let them fail. There's reason that these companies are going broke. We don't want to prop them up. Now, of course, behind it all is the Federal Reserve. If the Federal Reserve had never intervened in the market back in 2001 and 2002, had they not poured all this alcohol, then Wall Street wouldn't have got drunk. But they did. They made a lot of bad decisions, and now we've got to suffer the consequences. But it's not fair to try to say that the whole country, that everybody around the world who's holding U.S. dollars has to pay because of the bad bets made on Wall Street. All right. So given what you're saying, uh, you say government get out of the way, uh, let the invisible hand of the free markets work this out. You'd be, you'd be staring down the barrel of awfully difficult time for a very oh. long time for many, many Americans at this point. No, but no, no question about that. But it, it's, it's false to assume that the government can do anything about that. I am convinced that everything the government is doing to fight this off is going to make And I'm afraid we've lost uh, our guest there. I'm sorry about that. Technical problems, but uh, we heard um, his thoughts. Uh, interesting ones. Peter Schiff there, the president of Euro Pacific Capital. These things happen, right? Well, news of Citigroup.